Hey what's up guys you are watching for tech so the finally most awaited first android 12 base project exilir custom rom is available for the nord 2 so the dream come true finally rom is nearly stable with the minor bugs today in this video i will show you the only installation video because review plus installation make the video lengthy so before installation you must be on the latest oxygen os 11.3 a15 update firmware for the indian and european region First to install that update, also you must be installed the latest TWRP on your phone. The links of the both video is given in the right side card. Now download the project Exilir zip boot image of A15 version. This requires if you stuck at the boot loop. Links are given under the video description. Download and place them in one folder in the PC. If you all done, until this, let's get started for the actual flashing process. On a new adventure. So here I downloaded the project Exilir file. Now if you rooted then use the advanced reboot app to boot your phone into the TWRP. If you are not rooted then connect the phone to the PC using the USB cable. Open the CMD PowerShell window anywhere on the PC. Type ADB devices so the phone will be get detected. Now type ADB reboot recovery. Hit enter phone will be boot into the TWRP. Now first go to the wipe and format data. This will erase all data on your phone, so you need to transfer the project Elixir file from the PC to internal storage of your phone using the USB cable. Now go to the backup, check mark all the partitions like the boot, DTBO, etc. and take the Android backup of your ROM. After the full backup, keep that backup file inside the PC. So if something goes wrong, we can restore the original ROM using the TWRP. Now click install and select the project Elixir file. It will take up to the 1 minute for the flashing. Now click reboot system. Phone will sometimes take 5 to 10 minutes to boot. It may stuck at the OnePlus logo for a while. So wait patiently but if it will take more time to boot. Then press volume up plus power button. This will power off your phone. Now press volume down plus power. It will boot your phone into the bootloader mode. Connect your phone to the PC. Now go to the folder where you place the boot image of A15 firmware. Open the PowerShell window in the same folder by pressing Shift plus right click of your mouse. Select the open PowerShell here from the drop down menu. Now type the fastboot devices, hit enter. It will show you the device's ID. Now type the fastboot flash boot boot.emmc.win. I have given the Indian boot image in a emmc format. If you are using the U firmware then it is given in the boot image format so the user use the fastboot flash boot boot.img command. Now type the fastboot w hit enter this will erase all the partition and rewrite them. Now type fastboot reboot. So again wait at least for the 5 minutes and finally your phone will be boot into the mind blowing elixir os. Friends I will upload the full review video of the ROM in the another video. Watch that also to know how the ROM works and is it worth to upgrade from the stock Oxygenius ROM to the custom ROM. If you are facing issues contact us at the telegram or the insta id given under the video description. I will try to solve any issues that you will face. That's it for today guys. If I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.